Hey guys, it's Bethany G, and I'm gonna give you a tour of my home gym. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with my bar, and by the way, literally everything in my gym has a review on my channel already, so check that out. But this is my junior kit bar from Tumble Track. Um, it is almost too small for me at this point, but I got it when I was a lot lighter. But again, I did a whole review on this. I'll link it in the eye in the corner right now. But um, it's been great to work on bar skill, work on bar skills with. And this is I, I don't remember what they call this. It's like a cap. I'll call it a casting pad, but I don't think it's called that. But it helps um, when you're like working on your cast. Um, it makes it like more comfortable to land since it's like a lot on your hips. And um, as you can see, the bar moves a little bit. That's because I'm a lot heavier. And we have like, if you come over, <laughs> what the heck? My dad is filming by the way. And if you come over here, come, you'll see that we have wood under here. And we also have bar extensions. These, these didn't come with the bar, but we bought them, which was a good investment. So if you're a little heavier, then that would be a lot helpful, or very helpful. So this is my teddy bear mat. Um, I'm gonna unfold it to show you the size. I think it's their average size, so I think there's like three sizes. This is the middle, um, but it's from Tumble Track. It's pretty soft, and I just discovered the other day that you can actually wash the cover, so like, there's like Velcro around the side, and you can like actually wash it. I don't know why I didn't think you could. Um, but it's great for um, hard or harder landings. So I used to use this for like right off back tucks before I was too tall to do flips in my gym. Um, if you look at the ceiling, it is a little too low for uh, my five six self. Five six, yeah. Um, so that's that. Um, under here, I have a panel mat, and I also have a panel mat right there. They were my first pieces of gymnastics equipment ever, and they are both from Tumble Track. And I don't remember, I know I did a review on them, but I don't remember how thick they are, so you have to watch the review to find that out. But yeah, now this lovely lady is my air barrel. I think it's <gasps> spider. It's so ugly. There's so many bugs down here. By the way, my home gym is in um, a suite and we basically rent it out ourselves. Like we used to have renters, but now we use it for my filming, gymnastics, whatever. So it is in the basement. So this air roll is from Air Track Factory and you'll soon start to notice that a lot of my equipment is from Air Track Factory and I actually have a code for them, which is ATFFNG and you can use it to get 15% off. But they're like the best air track company ever and they've been so good to me and they've been so amazing to work with. I used to work on like, I would make drills with it and like do handstand stuff on it. Um, this thing here is the large air spot from Air Track Factory. I loved doing like back tucks off of this and like back pikes when I was shorter and then I would also do beam dismounts on it. So that's what I use that for. And here, um, as you can see, we have a sink, and I actually have um, chalk, and um, this is called liquid grip, so I used to use it when I didn't have grips. It would help me like stick to the bar, but next to it, I have this. This is, oh no, I'm going to forget the name. I have so many names of air track stuff to remember. It's the aqua ball, um, and you can use it for like... Um, squats and stuff and like there's water in it so it moves around it like helps with stabi stability and a lot of other things now this is my yogi bow this is not really a piece of gymnastics equipment but i use it for gymnastics as a landing surface so um you can like flip onto it and i'm not gonna do a flip because it might hit the ceiling however it is really nice and comfy to land on. I did a video with this one too. And I do have other bigger pieces of equipment that we're going to get to, but I will start off with what's in here. These are sticky toes. You can use them to know if your feet come apart and your skills. Those are from Tumble Track. And these are also from Tumble Track. They're sliders. So you can use them for conditioning and skills and like full turns and stuff. These are from Amazon. They're just some 
stretch bands for working out and there's probably gymnastics things that you can use them for i think i've done like casts with them i don't really know though these are my ankle weights i believe they're three pounds but i'm not quite sure i don't remember but these are from amazon also and back here i have a random foam cube i've used it for conditioning we have another stretch band i've used this for like casts on bars and stuff and like a lot of things on bars i would like I would go here and I would like wrap it around and like connect it and then like do things where I would hit my legs and you know that kind of stuff. I use it for my ankle rehab. Thanks for stealing my equipment. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very useful. And then we have this is a manometer. Is that how you say it? Manometer. Really? I've been saying it wrong my whole life. Well, this is a manometer and it can tell air pressure like in the air track. We also have push-up bars or whatever you call these. This one, these ones are from the dollar store and these ones are from Nike. And I have two because these are from my grandparents. I also have this free wrist strength thing thing I got. I'm probably never gonna use it, but it's fine. I'm a hoarder, just a teeny tiny bit. Um, and also to prove that, come down here. I have dice for conditioning, but also squishy balls, and I don't even, oh, you can't even see them. I don't even really need them, but I didn't want to get rid of them because this one um, is from Gymnastrata. This was the Canadian, or this was the one where my new gym hosted. The poor landfill. Like, you don't want to find these in the landfill. They could be put to use somewhere, so we're keeping those, okay? Um, and up here, I have all the Velcro for my air tracks. What the heck? Did you take over the entire basement? <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> you never, I mean, there's all these other empty cupboards. You don't need them. Um, I also have a extra, um, whatever you call these from air track. Um, yeah. and a conditioning list. <laughs> this is my one and only beam. Actually, kind of. I have an air beam, but... It's from Tumble Track, and then this is a yoga mat. It's reversible, so this is kind of the nicer side, but purple's brighter, so I put it on the purple side. The mat's from Aviva, but yeah, this is a nice beam to work on, like back walkovers and cartwheels and handstands on. We come to the air track equipment. This is my air beam from Air Track Factory. I'm gonna stop saying where it's from because you know where everything's from. And then this is my one of my three by one meter air tracks, and then the other one is under it. And then this is my favorite air track I own. It's five meters long, and it's so bouncy. Like their new versions of their air tracks are just so bouncy. I don't know what they did to it, but um, it's really fun to work on tumbling with, and I feel very safe on it, like on my ankles and stuff. And over here I have one of my other favorite pieces of equipment. It's, um, this is one of my airboards. I have three. Um, this is another one, it's pink, but the gold ones are special for their ambassadors. And I really liked these for learning my back tucks. Like I never did back tucks at home and off like boxes at gym, but I learned how to do it like at home with these and it was like so helpful. Um, I also have, this is the smallest air spot. Then we come over here in this cupboard. <laughs> we have like a uh, green screen holder thingies, and both of my air track pumps one that is electric and one that's not electric. And then extra yoga mats up here. I have an insane amount of air track factory manuals and stickers. Oh, and then I have more more of these this is my dad's i stole it well he said i could so it's okay actually i want it back right now okay thank you <laughs> wait do you, are you actually gonna keep it maybe <laughs> this is fabric from my leotard company now if you didn't know i sold gymnastics leotards and this is not one of them, but we just like finished, we finished pre-orders tonight for four new designs and the fabric is super, super soft, but it's all stored here for now. 
Um, and that is enough to do probably about 750 leotards right there. 750? Yep. Well, we bought a bunch of black though, and those are only going to be used for backs. Yep. Oh, anyways. Um, I thought we were aiming for 500. I think we end up getting more. This is elastic, but yeah, we need a better storage solution. This is kind of the last area. This one's, this is just really quick. It's a bathroom. You want to show, yeah. And then you come in here and we store um, a bunch of stuff. So Not for long. Yeah, usually we're turning it into a workout room, but usually um, I have a bunch of the stuff from out there in here. So like I have my air block. I have two of these. Um, one's gold, one's pink, and another airboard, and this is the medium air spot. It's actually a really nice size. Lights for filming. We film a lot down here, and also for my regular YouTube videos on my other channel, which is Bethany Grieve. And then air track storage bags, green screens, and this is a futon, so it can turn into a bed, but I believe we're getting rid of it soon. Yep. And that's honestly kind of it. We have like extra storage in there. It's just a closet. Comment down below, out of my whole gym, what piece of equipment is your favorite or you would want in your own gym maybe? Okay. I'd run the five meter tumble track. Okay. How about you do a demonstration for us? Good job. You look crazy when you do that. As I said before, almost like every piece of equipment in here has its own separate review on my channel. So if you want to see that, the playlist will be linked in the eye in the corner right now. And if you don't want to make me cry, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much. And um, I've posted like non-gymnastic stuff on this channel in the past, but now I've moved all that to another channel. So I have two one of them's for lifestyle, day in the life, and like unboxings and hauls, and this one's just mis basically gymnastics. And remember to turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I post a video. And the very easiest thing that you can do out of all this is like this video. I am very grateful that I have all this equipment. Like when I was younger, I remember my dream was to have like an amazing home gym, and I didn't think like it would actually happen, but YouTube has brought me so many cool opportunities. So if you're one of the companies also that has contributed to like my gym, thank you so much. You don't know how much it means to me. It's like awesome to play on and do my flips and progress on. And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.